Uh, my last video I was talking about uh, this past weekend that we did in Canterbury. Uh, as I said, it was an intense weekend. Most of my weekends are intense, and uh, I truly do my work for the altered states that I go to. Um, shit, might as well be honest. Uh, a few years ago I was working in uh, Humble, Texas, and I was doing a preview and a young man came uh, to the class and he said, have you ever done acid? <laughs> in the class, and I said, oh, let's talk after the class. Uh, so I guess I'm going to talk to millions of people, possibly. And we walked outside, and I said, why did you ask that question? And he said, because I have. And I said, okay. And he said, but. He said, I, I've done it, and I've, I've tripped, and I've gone out into these different states. And he said, I didn't know that you could create this on your own. And I said, well, pretty much that's been my quest. I want to see what are you capable of. And he said, can you do this? And I said, yeah. He said, I, I feel that you can. And I said, yep, that's a lot of what I, I want to get out of life is the full experience, all of the realms of the experiential parts of life. Yeah. This weekend, I guess we had a woman whose mother was real close to death. She's just since passed away, and I had a post. I just sat with her and talked to them, and, and it, it's quite a neat sensation. She's doing extremely well. Uh, sad. I mean, all the emotions come up, of course. But when my father passed away, I don't know if I've talked about this, and I, I really can't remember, but my father committed suicide, which is apparently a no-no uh, within the context of religion. But I knew my dad. I liked my dad most of the time. I loved my dad all the time. Uh, when he committed suicide, he had told me years before that he was going to do it. So it wasn't a surprise. It was still a shock. Uh, and this is quite a few years ago, so relax. Uh, but what happened was, I didn't know that grief could cause that much pain in your system. I, I was working in my clinic. I, I felt like I had an obligation to my patients, and I was walking from one patient room to my receptionary, and I, I literally collapsed on the floor, and the pain was tremendous in the heart chakra. And I think what happened was, it, it truly it broke my heart. Uh, and... My dad's service was in a Christian church, and I did the eulogy, and I said that my dad's going to heaven. I said he lived a great life, he was a great man, and he's going to think that he's going to be punished for eternity for what he did. Uh, the minister seemed to be a little bit upset with what I'd said. One of my dad's friends came up and said, I know how your dad killed himself, or how he died, and you know what that means? I said, yeah, he's going to heaven with everybody else. Now, I don't know whether I believe in that context or not, but I don't believe he's going to be punished for eternity for doing something that took all of his courage. But the bottom line of this story is I was walking back to my grandmother's house, and I went to this state, this of perfection. I saw that his life had been perfect, and... There was no rationalizing it with the mind, with that little voice inside your head. Oh, he was only 67. Oh, he committed suicide. All this, and I went back to my grandma's house, and I said to my mom, do you get that dad's life was perfect? Because I was in the experience of it, not the thought of it. And my mom was in grief, and she said, oh, you think it's perfect that your dad committed suicide? And part of me knew that it was. And, and, but I didn't say that, because I could see where she was. But that started a quest for me. I started looking for how I had found out life to be. And it was, I think, 18 years later when I did with a course with a man called Martin Sage. And on Monday, I stepped out of the course and everything was perfect. My life, your life, life as it is. And I thought, I have found what I'm looking for and I'm going to teach this.